Hello everybody, this is Sleepless Illustrator with another video this week. Uh, I hope you guys are doing good this weekend, this good uh, Labor Day and Labor Day weekend. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed your last real bits of summer. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping ahead to, hol to holidays, Halloween guys, pumpkin spice season has already started. Got my first pumpkin spice latte yesterday from Starbucks. Mm. But still waiting on the Dunkin' Donuts guys, so don't, don't if you guys ever, ever... Uh, just FYI in the future, uh, Dunkin' Donuts is always my favorite uh, pumpkin spice. But anywho, uh, I'm, uh, a couple announcements, guys. I'm going to be publishing this video. Um, well, right now I'm, I'm filming it. Today's Labor Day. It's Monday. Uh, because tomorrow I'm actually going to be going to Horror Nights tomorrow for the uh, uh, premiere. Um, so, yeah, I won't be able to upload a video to my normal schedule. But uh, that being said, this is just going to be, this really is going to be a quick video, guys. So as, as quick as I can. To, uh, if you guys, uh haven't read the title yet yes we are going to be drawing future trunks from dragon ball z and i gotta tell you guys i'm not really into dragon ball z just so you're aware um i didn't grow up with it i mean like i said i mostly grew up with pokemon but it's gonna be very similar to drawing misty so i mean I'm, you know obviously we have that done so i'm gonna get right into it guys because i want to make this video as quick as I can because uh i'm just gonna be drawing his head today so i'm gonna get right into it and if you guys are not familiar with this character um, he's an anime character. Um, he says he's, uh, let's see. He's a Cyan Earthling. I, I've seen when they, when the guys, when, when what's his name goes Super Cyan guys. I'm sorry if I'm not getting the terminology for, I know the character's not Dragon Ball Z or whatever, or whatever's, uh, Goku. You know, I'm, I'm familiar with some things and, and from what I understand, the movies haven't done well, the live action. You know, even I was, was able to see that, yeah, they're not exactly the greatest, but we're going to give our own little comic book touch on it. So I'm just gonna be drawing his uh, a comic version of his head. Let's just get it in here and kind of go from there. So it'll be a fun little drawing. I'll, so I'll try to get a little bit into the. But like I say, is I'm drawing this character because um, I was at the gym a couple weeks ago, and the guy who works there, I was kind of a guy I talked to, you, I just chit chat, and and he just came back from Comic Con, told me how he's into this kind of stuff, and he just spent like a fortune. Uh, I've seen this the, the artwork he bought there. Whew, guys, I swear. You know, these guys, it, it's funny. I'll get into it later, but like, you know, the, the amount of money spent. But like, uh, he, he saw my work. I, I happened to show him someone working. He's like, hey, can you draw me this character? And I'm like, sure. So I'm working on I'm working on a different drawing, guys, and I'll post it to my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that out in a few weeks, uh, I'm still working on it. But uh, yeah, so getting a little uh, eyes in. I thought it'd be cool just to draw like a little, little. But I'm drawing the whole body for. I'm not just drawing the head for for him. So this is another project. So yeah, just so you know, guys. And uh, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to kind of do just you know, it's always good to change up your skill set, guys. You know, if you're not a comic book guy or an anime guy or whatever, if you're a comic book guy and you want to draw anime, go for it, guys. Whatever. I mean, there's anime comics, but like I said, it's still a different style. So you know, kind of hard to adapt. So. I'm just gonna draw this quick, this quick, uh, especially since it's a holiday weekend, guys, and you guys are probably, you know, to uh, to uh, interrupt your holidays. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll try to make this quick as can. So, I like this guy. He's kind of buff, so I'm gonna put my little bit of a spin on it because uh, I like drawing muscles, and, and you know, I've I've always wrestled with the idea as a comic book artist, guys, wrestling with muscles versus like clothing and things like that. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed that comic books have changed. Like Iron Man went from a skin type muscle suit, even though you have to use your imagination. You know, the artist is drawing him like a muscle type, but like it's still machinery basically. As opposed to muscles, but then now the comic books have adapted, you know, more of uh, a realistic Tony Stark, which I, I think is kind of a good idea. But it's just think about it, guys when you're the artist and you're drawing a comic book, it, it looks cool. And, and don't get me wrong, guys, the results speak for themselves. These artists, you know, back then when Marvel was, you know, Marvel, you know, they used to work their asses off to start part of my language, but yeah, they used to work their asses off and you know, they would uh have to draw each individual strands and, and armor and things like that, and just you know, it's just crazy. Crazy dog, crazy. But you know, art art takes time, guys. That's why you know I'm trying to teach you the basics here and not get so hung up on the. Uh... And guys, when you're drawing characters like this, always draw through it. You see how I have the eyes here, because this is just the drawing, guys. You don't have to worry about every single detail. Detail, details. 
But remember, hair, don't don't go individual strands. I'm only doing it on the edge of the hair. The edge of the hair you can go strands, but in the middle of the hair, keep it, you know, keep it grouped together. Keep it, you know, a few strands kind of show the direction of the hair of the scalp or the hair is uh, going for the scalp. I'm going to give a little bit of realism to this. I'm not going to be drawing this like two anime. So, but I'm just kind of going by the uh, picture. And I guess I'm not going to be uploading this. I'll upload this tomorrow before I leave tomorrow. So I'm going to come home and, and uh, from work and then head back out. So I will upload this uh, early on. So just, uh, you know, I mean, obviously uh, you won't know until I upload this. But, you know. We'll see you guys how Halloween goes this year. I'm not really excited about it. I mean, I hate to say it, guys, but I'm kind of burnt out from Halloween just because, like, um, well, things are going to be different. Mike's going to be in to uh, Tokyo for a couple weeks for Halloween, so I won't really do much with him. Um, and, like, last year, guys, we went to the Haunted Hayride here, uh, but it's not that good. I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, we also got rained on, but that, that wasn't their fault, but I'm not blaming them for the rain. I mean, that that's, you know, but, like, after that, it's just kind of... It wasn't that good anyway. The, like I, I, I feel like Horror Nights and all these places have dumbed down to make everything kid friendly. And, and I understand they want the, the, the kids like, you know, guys, Universal used to have like dancing girls and stuff like that, you know, and, and it, it was it was an adult thing. And now I see more freaking strollers than ever. So and don't get me wrong. I know they're trying. Everyone's trying to capitalize on that business, guys. But, you know, these events weren't made. There were some things that weren't we used to keep kids out of it. So I don't know. I mean, everything nowadays is like, you know, it's funny. You have to make everything kid friendly. But, yeah, me, dude. You know me, guys. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I, I woke up this morning with a little bit of a frog in my throat. So, yeah, this might actually be my quickest video yet, guys. I, I really am trying to get quicker, guys. And, like, um, just really do simple drawings for this. Cause I, I, and, I, honestly, guys, I may be ending this series soon. Um, just another announcement. Um, it's quite possible. Um, my series here isn't really doing so well. So, oop. Um, so, uh, I want to focus on other videos, so, but I appreciate any of you guys for watching my videos, thank you for sticking with me, so, I'll be, uh, working on some stuff later, and, uh, I'll see where we go from here, from, from here, guys, I mean, I may still do these videos from time to time, but, honestly, guys, uh, I've been kind of soul-searching, I had a few moments with my dad, you know, talking about, certain things about life and things like that and you know sometimes you gotta change things up if something's not working and it's okay guys I mean I'm saying you shouldn't do what you enjoy but you know you always gotta want to be better you have to improve that's all I'm doing so I'm sorry if you guys are sad if I if I if, if I decide but I'll make an announcement guys for my last episode when, if I decide to uh but there's other things I want to do guys and I only have so much time in the week and it's not it's it's not you guys it's my fault I'm, I'm lazy Ask Jaster. I'm lazy. I know, I know. But unfortunately, I don't do this full time. And I wish I could. I'm not a, a huge YouTuber. But I, that is the goal that I'm working towards. But things take time, guys. And let, let me tell you something, guys. I want you guys to know that, that success, true long standing success, is never overnight, dude. Never, guys. I have people, you know, what I work with who, you know, they, they're, they're encouraging. Don't get me wrong. But then there's always like the naysayers and, and the, the people who say, you know, you haven't been. Guys, Morgan Freeman didn't get famous until he was like 40. And I use that as an excuse, as, as uh, like the, and there's plenty of stories that, but Morgan Freeman is the best, like, recognizable one I could just say off the top of my head. You know, there's never a time limit. I don't care, guys, if you're 80 years old or if I'm 80 years old and I'm still trying to make it big or trying to do whatever, whatever goals you guys want. I don't care, guys. If you have a goal, you chase it until the day you, you know, you till you, your last drawn breath, guys. That's it. There's nothing else. And like I said, if it's okay, if you don't have anything, that's fine. But I, I will say this, you know, the, the things that, you know, you never give up, guys. Never let anybody talk you out of it because, like, you never know how close you are to those, to those things. Guys. I'm not saying you can't listen to, to feedback. And, of course, guys, always listen to, guys, to people who, you know, but also listen to what you want, you know. If you want your channel to be nothing but cats, then do it. And if, even if, though no, you're, look, guys, even if my, my channel is, is never gonna take off or whatever i'm fine with it i'm still doing what i like doing i like putting these videos out i like drawing you know it gets a good mo motivator for me and i love you know seeing who gets to like my videos so and anyone because you never know you never know who you're inspiring guys never you never know who's watching someone who maybe depends on your videos Oop. you're still recording and yeah 
That's what I say. But there's so many people out there who just like, who just want to, you know, I hate to say it, you know, who want you to fail. You know? And it's so sad because I never want anybody, I want all you guys to be successful. I wish it was possible, you know. But, you know, there's always going to be people who are just, you know, just not successful. But the thing is, like, and I ask my dad this all the time, what makes a good idea successful and what makes you know, one not so successful? There are plenty of people who work harder. Some of you guys work harder than me. And really, my, my dad always says when it really comes down to it, it's, it's just, it's just, pers it really is just perseverance. Sometimes it's just pursuing until your last breath. That's really all it is. So I think this guy is a little bit, we'll do a little bit of a people. I thought, it's funny, I, I actually uh, haven't really drawn much of the details of the face yet. I haven't got, I just start, barely started the drawing because I'm lazy. And I thought it was going to be more of like a big eyes, kind of like Misty, you know, the anime eyes. <laughs> so. We'll just get the basic drawing guys in. If you guys can, I'm just gonna add some details, details, details. Hard to be kind of accurate with this. It's still hard for me when I'm on the computer, guys. It's easier when I'm drawing. But like I said, I use technology just to get in faster. That's the only reason why I use technology, guys, is just to get in faster and then more, a little bit, a little bit more efficient. Just because, like. Uh, like it has the colors and the ink and things like that that I that I all need to. But the the drawing I'm doing for this is going to be inked. Um, I might add some color to it. I have to figure out what I'm gonna color with, because uh, I I I'm, I haven't used colors in a while because I've been using my computer a lot, guys. I used to do watercolor and then I tried to get into Copic markers. I do recommend Copic markers, guys, but they're expensive as hell, dude, guys. I mean they're 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 really great if you guys can use Copic, but um. They're expensive because there's a lot of uh, with Copic guys. You can do a lot of different things. You can change out the nibs. You you refill. So you buy the marker itself, and then all you have to do is buy the ink and just refill them instead of just buying. And I and I guys don't. I don't recommend sharpies ever for for comics. They seep through. They smell, and they don't really they don't really get you long lasting results, guys. Use sharpies for fun, guys, or to mark stuff or sign autographs. I guess when you guys are famous, but please don't use sharpies. Um, uh, long term, use them for fun, guys, but don't expect, don't ever use them for professional. That, that's my uh, recommendation. Actually, this guy's got. Remember, he's muscly. So. Oh yeah, guys, I'm also going to be giving shorter descriptions because I'm 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 drawing characters you guys can kind of figure out. You know, I'm sure most of you guys. I really don't think uh, anyone who turns into a, tunes into a video like this, unless you're looking for a specific lesson. I just happen to be drawing a character, and you just oh, I don't know who this guy is. You know, I'm not into anime, but yeah, you can go look it up for yourself. <laughs> oh, me lazy. <laughs> but no, um, it's like you know, anything like uh, with these characters, guys. It's really I, this. This is supposed to be a drawn video. I'm not supposed to be giving you a life lesson about this character. I only give a brief description just for for like just out of uh, for the sake. But uh, that's alright. We'll draw on those strands. Let's we'll just go right over. <clears throat> so, what, guys? A little trick you can do: just put a different layer, boom, and then you can draw over stuff. You can use a different like that, and then just erase what you don't. Uh, and then you could always just merge, uh, merge all, merge all below. There. Simple. This back. Big ass. Okay. So. Walking up soon. I'm actually filming this video during the day, guys. This is why I don't film during the day. I wait till the dead of night. That's why you guys see me in my videos. You know. But, uh. Yep. Get his eye. Remember the eye is a little bit thicker line than then go for the pupil. Oops. Fill it in. Cheeky cheeky baga. Muscle. I'm gonna draw him a little bit more details in, in the, the final drawing guys, because I'm gonna add like like things like because it's supposed to be more this isn't gonna be an anime drawing when I when I finish not this drawing, but the one I'm working on for my uh for the gym guy. 
Randy's his name. <laughs> he always cracks me up. Yes, and I do recommend you guys go to the gym. So I'm, I am a gym rat. Well, not a gym rat. I mean, I don't go like four or five times. But I used to, guys, back when I got my first heart broken. <laughs> it's like in college. That's when I started the gym, so. The layer. And a little bit of cross -hatch. And this is a comic book, so, or this is a comic book, uh, so any shading we do, I try to do, you know, it depends on the drawing, but, uh, always add a little shadows when you can around the head, on the clothes, you know, little wrinkles, you know, there may be some shadows in the wrinkles, guys. Because remember, wrinkles are just shadows, guys. The little lines, but that the, the shadows in your clothes and the, the, that actually create them, you know, the lighting and stuff. So, always adds a little bit of a rigidity to your clothes. So. Always add some shading to the what I do, guys, I add little blobs of like ink, like this, guys, and then I add a little bit of cross hatching to stretch it out. Like, there you work from there. That's kind of how comic books work, guys. But establish where your lines, where your drawings, uh, I mean, where your 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 shading is, the the darkest areas, and then kind of cross hatch from there. So that's my. Uh, That's how you do it the comic book way. Like I said, manga, you know, from what I've seen, the style is just about the same. I mean, it's, it could be about the same. It depends on, but different, like, you know, aesthetics, different, like, language, and different, you know, some differences, but a little bit of a... You can just leave it at that, guys. There's really not much you can uh, just have a little bit of shadow the neck. By the way, guys, I did not see the crow this week with Mike. Uh, I, I didn't really feel like it, and honestly, I've heard bad reviews, and I didn't want to waste it. But next week, I'll be seeing Beetlejuice, so you know, I'll give you my, my two cents on that. I've already drawn Beetlejuice, guys, so if you guys don't realize, uh, I've already drawn it, so go check out my drawing of Beetlejuice. It came out pretty good. But yeah, uh, the crow just didn't seem... I heard it's bad, and honestly, I mean, I knew it wasn't. I honestly knew it wasn't going to be good. There was no way it could ever compare to Brantley or even even the, the the ones before it or the ones that came after it. But I just, you know, dude, you know, guys, I, I just uh, didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like wasting money on a movie that really just was just like I thought it'd be good, fun, fun to watch as a shootout movie. You know, good guy kills bad guy kind of thing, and it just wasn't even worth seeing like that. You know, so. You can go see it for yourselves, guys. I mean, I just heard something. It sucks because I thought I thought was named Bill Skarsgård. He looked good. He looked like he beefed up for the role because normally he's like a skinny guy. And I thought he had a good body for it, you know. So, but you know, just didn't didn't you know fly. So, yeah, the crow didn't fly. But yeah, I, I just didn't really feel like seeing. It. I just chilled at home. But yeah, guys, like I said, don't ever be, don't think that just because you're not successful now. So guys, success may come when you least expect it. You just never know. And you never know when things blow up or things, you know, I'm still trying. I'm always going to be trying, you know. So. Yeah, okay, 19 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to get going, guys. I'm going to upload this, so keep an eye out for us. And you guys have a good holiday. Be safe out there. Don't drink and drive. Don't, you know. And there's our future chunks. She actually came out pretty good, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday. Uh, next week, back on the same schedule. Uh, Tuesday, I'll look out for a video. For right now, I'll let you guys know when I decide when these videos are no longer <laughs> going to be relevant. So, any hooser, guys. I hope you guys have a great holiday. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out me and Mike tonight. We're going to be uh, streaming on Twitch. I'll put that link in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next week and have, what can I say? Have a good one. <laughs> Later, guys.